Hello Gemini, thank you for joining me today. It's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. I hope you're doing, all of you are doing well at this time. Um, I have done a, a pre-shuffle of the cards on the table, um, Gemini, so I'll just do a final shuffle now. Um, just to say that this is a general reading, so um, it cannot uh, resonate with absolutely um, everybody. So um, please leave what doesn't resonate with you. Right, we'll see what the energies have to say. Please get in touch if you would like um, a private reading. The uh, information is below the video of how to get in touch with me. So they have the current situation, the challenge to this, what's in your power at times two, an outcome card, and then something else from the bottom of the pack that the universe would like to say to you at this time. So they're the Archangel from the Archangel pack of cards. And here we have the Gilded Tarot. So we'll just do a final shuffle here of those and lay them on top. a bit of extra clarity and depth. Here we are. Okay, Gemini, let's see what the energies want to say to you at this time. So we have the Nine of Ariel. This would be the Nine of Pentacles in Ordinary Tarot. So this is saying that your dreams are fulfilled. So hard work leads to great success. Um, and a love for the beautiful things in life. Beautiful, a lovely energy to start. Um, but then we have the hanging man, so it would appear there's a bit of um, a pause in, in action. Something is um, not quite going forward at this time. Um, this, this can also be talking about um, a certain perspective, just having um, one perspective on something. Um, but whatever it is, I feel there's a delay. There's some form of, de of a delay at the moment. It may be a contemplative delay, a delay while decisions are looked into, re research is done, um, whatever it means for you. But there's a bit of a pause in action at the moment um, because you're look looking um, into something, looking, you've got one perspective on something. Okay, um, so that's the clarifier for... The Nine of Ariel, your dreams fulfilled, hard work leads to great success, a love for the beautiful things in life. Um, but there's a bit of a, a delay with that, with that, a bit of a pause, um, perhaps not quite there yet. All right. All right, Gemini. Um, the challenge at the moment is the Seven of Raphael or the Seven of Cups in Ordinary Tarot and the Hermit. So the challenge for you at this time is a need, there's a need to make a decision. Um, with the Seven of Cups is when we have lots of options. You can see all these uh, buckets full of different chakra colours here. Um, and then it looks like a well, a wishing well of some sort. Um, but it's time to make a decision and you need to be clear on what you want um, and take, to take action. Um, and perhaps a need for detox detoxification as well but this making a decision situation this very it's a challenge for you at this time all right and 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 that's probably why we've got the hanging man here with uh, pausing it because you're just looking at things from one perspective i feel all right so although this nine of aerial um is, is a fabulous energy for you um but something you've, you've just got one perspective on something and so this is creating um a delay um and there's a need to make a decision and, and but just be very clear on what it is you want all right be clear on what you want to, so you can tap fully into this energy um yes because we have the hermit card and the hermit is when we have to um perhaps sometimes go within ourselves get away from others to go within, look, search for meaning, search for, you know, the, the hermit here has his torch, he's got his light, his lamp, sorry, um, and, he's, and he's trying to find a way forward, he's trying to find an answer, if you like, a resolution, or um, uh, you need to, you know, perhaps you need to go into hermit mode uh, to, to find, you know, to make a decision about what, what it is you want, Gemini. 
all right which way you're going to go forward um but this is a challenge the the ability to be able to go into hermit mode um to be by yourself and go within or uh, take a break um uh, it, this this is difficult it is proving difficult at this time as a challenge for you now what's in your power at this time um gemini we've got the six of michael which is a six of swords and the seven of wands so the six of michael this is when um as we can see with the imagery michael is on his boat um, and, and coming out from the storm, from the dark clouds into the um, the clear sky and the, the more calmer waters ahead. So this says it's the light at the end of the tunnel energy. So you can breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans. It can be about relocation or travel for some of you, but not for everybody. But it's definitely um, about going, you know, going on your journey and moving out from the dark clouds, um, out, coming out from the tunnel. There's light at the end of this tunnel and breathe a sigh of relief. So, you know, something's been quite difficult, very arduous, um, whatever it is, whatever the meaning is for you, Gemini. But, you know, the, there is light at the end of this tunnel. Um, and, and then the clarifier, the seven of wands. And this is about standing up for yourself, um, standing up for um, what it is you believe, perhaps for your values um for your own uh, opinion perspective because you've got all these other ones that are jabbing these are about other other opinions um other points of view that are jabbing away at you but you're standing your ground here um you're you're defending you're defending yourself and and what you hold dear um all right so you that's that's a lovely clarifier for um the, the six of Michael, light at the end of the tunnel coming out because you've been you've been defending yourself or standing your ground if you like. So what else is in your power? Well we have the two of Ariel, which was be the two of Pentacles in ordinary tarot. And this is about having balance, the importance of having balance in your life. Um you're probably working multiple jobs or projects at once, but there's a need, um, you know, lots of responsibilities, you know, home, work, life, uh, balance, I think this is talking about. So, you know, making work fun, um, whatever your, the jobs are at home, try to make it lighter and make it fun, if you like. Trying to get a sense of perspective and balance, all right, which, of course, comes back to the hanging man and the nine of Ariel, doesn't it? Um Hard work leads to success, but, you know, um, having a sense of perspective as well, not getting overwhelmed with the energies around you and, what, and, and the different things that you have to balance in your life. Um, and then we've got the chariot. Now, the chariot is when um, normally the chariot in, or, in ordinary tarot or in other, other decks uh, would show a chariot charging forward taking over the reins and going forward. Um, however, in this particular deck, the chariot's there ready to go. Uh, but you see the woman, she's, she hasn't, she's not holding any reins. There's no horses there. There's blocks in front of the wheels. And she's not really looking forward. She's just um, sort of looking away, really. She's in no hurry. She's just relaxing there. Um, so, which is a very similar energy, isn't it, to the hanging man? So this having to get this the the importance of having balance uh, within the multiple jobs and projects and and demands on you at this time, um, but there's a, a sense of um, switching off if you like, um, you know, almost this, you're almost overwhelmed with it all, um, and that's probably why what this energy of the six of Michael is, um, just you know. Uh, that that difficult situation is, is is coming to an end because you've had to be in this defensive mode for some reason, standing your ground. Um, so you know, with all the demands on your time and trying to achieve balance, you, there's also almost a sense of um, not wanting to <laughs> hold the reins and and charge forward, just wanting to have some time out really and switch off for a little bit. I hope this makes sense to some of you, Gemini. 
And then the outcome, we have a major arcana. And major arcanas are when it's a, a, a significant message coming through. Um, this is the star, and it's a fabulous energy. And this talks about dreams coming true, Gemini. So, But you need to believe in yourself. You need to believe in yourself. Um, and, you know, what, what your abilities and skills are. Um, and, and, you know, and who you are. You know, appreciating who you are. Um, and this again talks about the end of a difficult situation. And the same as the Six of Michael. So, uh, dream coming true, believe in yourself, and it's the end of a difficult situation. This wishing on a star, having hope and healing and balance. You see, she's tipping water from two jugs that are coming down. That's talking about having balance in your life. And then the clarifier is the Knight of Wands. Um, and this is about movement and change. So there's something about movement and change. It's a movement and change energy when the Knight of Wands comes in. The Knight of Wands is bringing the wand of um, opportunity um, and energy. Um, but it's definitely about movement and change. And something to do with movement and change is a dream come true for you. So things are changing, things are moving. Um, <laughs> make the most of this uh, switched off energy because I think things are going to suddenly start to go forward. All right. <laughs> right. Um, now, what else does the universe want to say to you? The universe has brought forward the page of Michael, the page of swords. And uh, he talks about an exciting new challenge coming in for you, that you have what it takes to succeed, um, but you do need to review contracts or documents thoroughly. Um, alongside of that is the Hierophant, and this is the higher energy, the godlike energy, if you like. Um, this is about um, doing what is right and just. Um, the rubber stamp um, from above really coming down on whatever it is in a very positive, it's a very positive energy, but it's a very, it's almost like a, a tradi traditional energy um, of doing the right thing. Um, you know, fairness, justness, all of those very positive, um, benevolent um, energies. Um, so you can see the um, imagery here is of it looks like a bishop. Um, so it's a sort of very religious energy, but it's just saying it's about the higher, the higher good, um, what is the right and just, um, you know, from the high, the higher good for everybody, for yourself, and for those around you. So the decisions you will be making, um, and your energy going forward, um, is for the higher good. Uh, for yourself and for those around you, and um, perhaps even for the communities and and um, the world at large, Gemini. Um, but it's certainly something universally blessed. Whatever it is, it's universally blessed for you. Okay. All right. All right, Gemini. Well, um, that's um, lovely energies. Lovely energies coming f through for you. I hope. This reading has had meaning for you, Gemini. Um, please, if you could, uh, press the like, subscribe and, and share um, buttons. Um, if you, um, you know, only if you want to, Gemini, and if you've enjoyed the reading and it's had meaning. Um, in any event, thank you for joining me. Do take care going forward, Gemini, and please do join me again in the future. Bye-bye for now.